good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is, where you are, whenever it is that you are watching this. Uh, who all do we have with us today? Thank you for the heart. Let me get a little situated here. Who all do we got? Margaret, Lolita, Yolanda. Awesome, awesome. Well, for those of you who are joining us here on Periscope, hey Jessica, Andrea, Marsha, awesome. For those of you joining us here on Periscope, I just want to thank you for being here to join us today. Uh, we are going to be discussing a little bit about some business etiquette. Uh, and uh, for those of you who don't know me, perhaps you've been invited here to watch um, or perhaps you're watching the replay due to the fact that somebody in invited you to it or shared it with you uh, or perhaps you're catching us on YouTube. My name is Buffy Hood. I have been a Premier Designs jeweler for almost nine years. We were recently promoted to two diamond designers, so we are in the leadership uh, program with Premier and we are just super excited uh, to not only be there but to have an opportunity uh, to be able to reach out to you all today. So uh, what we are going to be discussing today is something that has been uh, kind of weighing on me lately and I didn't even realize how much until uh, the Lord kind of placed it on my heart today to be discussing it. So uh, sometimes I am super prepared with things and then other times I'll have something ready and the Lord goes, mm, nope, I need you to talk about this instead. So I'm not sure why, not sure who might need to hear this, um, but evidently I'm supposed to share it today. So uh, this is what we're going to be discussing. Um, so some of the things that I wanted to touch on is just things to be very careful of when you are choosing to be a business owner. Okay, so uh, the first of that would be how many of you uh, find yourself occasionally, yes, <laughs> I do too. <laughs> um, so how many of us um, ever have an issue where we say something and the second that we say it, it's kind of like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. that. That really was inappropriate. I shouldn't have said that. Anybody ever have that happen? Got some hearts. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So here's what I would love to see each and every one of you as business owners try to focus on. Um, believe it or not, I have uh, not always been the same person that I am today. <laughs> uh, back in the day, I very much had the mouth of a sailor. Okay, um, and so often I hear people say now that even when they're in business for themselves and they choose to use words that are, in my opinion, never appropriate in business. Okay, um, I have heard many business owners, many business coaches use language that, in my opinion, has no place in the workplace, let alone as a business owner who is um, trying to gain business or trying to gain respect, okay? Um, so here's my thing. So many times, if you would talk to those people about the language they choose to use, you may hear things such as, well, that's just who I am. Um, well, I can promise you the Lord did not create us to have potty mouths. The Lord did not create us to ever use his name in vain. Uh, the Lord did not create us to speak ill of other people or to use foul language. Okay. Um, so in my opinion, what that truly is, is that something that we have allowed ourselves to become because society has said that it that it's acceptable, um, even in terms of the amount of language that I hear on you know regular cable TV anymore, or things like that, it's kind of like how like why is this not bleeped out? <laughs> okay, exactly, it's not in his image. Okay, um, so 
my thing is, is would we speak that way? And for those of you who aren't believers, please know that you can choose to listen to this. You can choose not to. That, that's totally up to you, okay? But as a business owner, I urge you to still listen and, and to, to take this into consideration, okay? Because there are people that I have chosen to not do business with because of the fact that anytime I spoke with them, there was always potty mouth. And even though I used to speak that way, it's something that I am trying to rid myself of. It's something that I am trying to get away from. It's also something that in terms of business relations, I don't feel it's appropriate. Um, if you went to go see a doctor and he cursed at you, I don't know that you would look at him as being very professional. Um, or if a teacher was to use that language with you or your children, I don't think you would find that to be very professional or appropriate. Um, so the thing that I look at is whether it is at a home show, whether it is um, at a vendor event, whether it is talking to a customer on the phone, uh, whether it's offering business advice to your downline, whether it's whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, I feel like if you are choosing to use those words, it is just that. You are choosing to use that language, um, and you're also choosing to take the chance that people may choose to not do business with you because of your language. Uh, for me, if if somebody is going to repeat it, like, I, listen, I understand sometimes slip-ups happen. I get it. <laughs> okay. I understand that sometimes there's the occasional slip up and there again you go, oh my goodness, what did I just do? But what I'm referring to are those who just, it's just a general um, word. It's just a general conversation. It's, it's you know, and, and it's just said like there's, there's no issues. There's no, um, you know, it's, it's like using the word then uh, and, and their terminology that it just, it just flows and there and to them there's no issue to me there's a big issue because it, it is going to be a turnoff to a lot of people and when you're trying to put yourself out there as a business owner as somebody who should be respected as uh, someone who you know you want to gain people's trust and and things like that I don't feel that it is appropriate to have that potty mouth okay now and there again, some of you are watching this and you're going, whatever, okay? And that is totally okay, all right? That I'm getting to that next, believe it or not. Um, so this next part is either going to make you go, yes, I totally agree, or it's going to make you go, whatever, I, I'm going to do what I want anyway. Um, or it might make you cringe a little bit because you might realize that you've been doing this and maybe you just didn't even give it any thought, okay? So the next part of this is when we choose to have a personal Facebook that we invite our customers and hostesses to be friends with us on that Facebook page. Please know that even if you know these people personally or if you know them through your business, okay, um, those who know you personally they already know that that's the way that you speak. They know that that's, a, that that's the way that you act, et cetera. But your customers and your hostesses, um, when you are trying to build that business relationship with them, the last thing you want to do is invite them to your personal page if your personal page is going to be filled with foul language, with inappropriate jokes, with inappropriate pictures, with inappropriate videos. Um, and things like that because the second that you do that I guarantee you you have lost those customers and hostesses um, because they're they're not going to that that's not what they want to view their jewelry lady as or their makeup lady as or whatever they would like to keep that that image of um, professionalism and you're not going to be able to do that if you're sharing inappropriate things on your Facebook. So if you would like your Facebook page to be filled with such things, then please do not friend your hostesses and your customers. Okay, allow that side of you to only be seen by your personal friends and family. Um, however, the reason why I love being able to know that I can add my customers and, and my um, hostesses 
to my regular personal pages is because I want to build that relationship with them and I want them to view me as a person, as a mom, as a wife, as a friend, as, you know, all these different things um, so that they can see me in that different light and it kind of, I guess, humanizes me more, but I don't have to be foul mouth um, or anything else. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things where you absolutely have the choice of what it is that you choose to post on your Facebook page. Uh, you know, but I, I do recommend that if, if you want to post such things, then you don't want to add your, your hostesses and your customers there because chances are you probably will lose them as a customer. They will no longer view you as that professional person that they once invited into their home okay so you want to be very careful about that and and remember that you are always it, you know if, if you invite those customers and those hostesses to your Facebook page you are always representing your business okay so for those of you who are here today and you are Premier Designs Jewelers I'm just going to talk to you for just a moment uh, specifically because, as you all know, Premier is a biblical-based business, okay? They are built on biblical principles and, and foundation. So we want to make sure that we are representing that well, okay? If we are inviting our customers and our hostesses to become friends with us on Facebook and they know us, as the Premier Designs Jewelry Lady or Premier Designs Jeweler, okay, and then they see you post things that are very inappropriate, the first thing they're going to do is go, hmm, I wonder if all Premier Jewelers are like that, okay. So it can, it can very easily uh, kind of put that mark on Premier that, you know, well, their people aren't really who they say they are and, and that kind of thing, and we know that that's simply not true. Okay, um, so you want to make sure that you're always carrying yourself in such a way uh, that that people can constantly view you as being professional. Okay, um, yes, and having that integrity, absolutely, absolutely. The other thing that I would like to throw out there um, very quickly, we're going to try to keep this a little short for my end because I want to hear from you all. Um, but the other thing that I would like to put out there that goes along with this about um, yes, about uh, making sure that you are being able to be viewed in a professional way is please, please, please do not ever get caught up in gossip or getting caught up in the, uh, you know, bashing another company or that kind of thing. Here's the thing. I understand that uh, even myself being a premier design jeweler, okay, I understand that even though, in my opinion, Premier is by far the absolute best company, they have the best marketing plan, the best hostess plan, you know, the best guarantee, everything, like, they are, in my opinion, phenomenal, okay? I also know that my sister, who is a Tastefully Simple consultant, in her opinion, Tastefully Simple is the best company out there, okay? And she truly believes and, and what the products offer and, and what the um, company offers and, and everything else. And she's very successful because of that, okay? So we, we absolutely need to remember that while our company is the best for us, it doesn't mean that somebody else's company isn't also the best for them. So we need to be very careful about not bashing others and, and things like that. We need to make sure that we are encouraging them uh, and, you know, and giving them congratulations when they do a great job, giving them congratulations uh, when they have, have recently had a promotion or, you know, had an amazing month in sales or, or things like that. Um, you know, we need to make sure that we're doing that and, and that we're never going um, you know, well, you don't want to be a part of that company because they do this and this and this and this and this. The biggest thing is to remember what your company is offering and you focus on that. And if that can't stand on itself alone, then you just keep your mouth shut. 
<laughs> okay, goes back to the whole can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> okay, um, so you know, for me, I just truly believe that those are just a couple very small things uh, that can absolutely help you build those relationships uh, and and keep that that professional attitude, keep that professional image. Um, it's not to say that you have to be on all the time, but here's the thing. Uh, if, you know, if you, there again, if you're going to invite your customers and, and your hostesses into your Facebook page as a friend, know that that's mm. basically the same as inviting them into anything else that you are partaking in. So as an example, if you are going out and getting drunk and, and you're last in pictures of inappropriate things all over your page, then that's what your customers and your hostesses are seeing. And sometimes I think people tend to forget that, oh yeah, I have them on here. So just be mindful about the things that you're posting. If if you would not um, speak that way, talk that way, post those kind of things, if your pastor or your mother's pastor or whoever <laughs> was watching, if you wouldn't post those things, then chances are you shouldn't be posting them anyway, <laughs> but let alone you shouldn't be posting them if your customers and your hostesses are a part of your page. Um, exactly. Would you say or act that way on national television? Uh, for, for many, you know, it's just one of those, even in terms of your current, you know, if maybe you have a current employer, would you want him to see you acting that way or her to see you act that way? My general rule is if I would not have them in my home, I don't let them on my page. And and there you, you know, and, and there again, it is totally up to each individual person. I personally, I tend um, to always invite my customers and my hostesses to friend me on Facebook. Um, in fact, that's actually how they earn some extra auction dollars or tickets at my show is by popping on to their phones and friending me on Facebook before the end of the presentation. Uh, and I love doing that because it allows me to be able to stay in more of a constant contact with them uh, and, and be able to continue building those relationships. It allows me to get to know them outside of the show uh, and allows them easy access to be able to contact me uh, if, if they need something um, because most people are probably on Facebook more than what they're on anything else at this point. Um, so it's, for me, it's just a great way to be able to connect and, you know, here's the thing I, there again, I really, truly want them, uh, to view me as anything, you know, as, as everything and anything. Like I, I want them to understand that, you know, that I'm a mom who has two kids that I stay home with and spend time with and all that, um, you know, that we have two kids to support and, and, you know, that we, are involved in our church and and I want them to know that the same person that they see at my shows is the same person that I am even outside of the shows uh, and and that they have an opportunity to get to know me on more of a personal level um, you know and and there again if you know I truly feel like that's a big a big part of it um, yes absolutely yes so, and, you know, and, and that's just it. And, and I don't ever want to post something on my page where those people go, I don't want that lady coming back to my house. Like that would horrify me <laughs> if I did something like that. Uh, you know, but absolutely. Uh, this says we as Christians have an obligation so we can aspire non-believers to return to him. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and here's the thing. We should be making sure um, that that we are handling ourselves in such a way that that people truly want to be near us, that they you know that they want to welcome us back, and that they can look at us and say, uh, especially as Christians, that they would be able to look at us and say, you know what, um, there's something different about her, and I need to know what it is. I need to I need to understand, um, you know why she is who she is and where she finds her hope and where she finds her faith and, you know, and that kind of thing. Um, you know, so absolutely. I mean, we are there to be a, a testimony to him at all times and Facebook is no exception. Okay. And, um, and it, to me, it is a, a true cop out when people say, well, this is just who I am. Accept me for who I am. Well, no, 
um, that's very much just you giving yourself um, permission to do things that probably aren't appropriate. And, you know, and there again, if you're okay with who you are, perfect. That's wonderful. But I'm just saying when it comes to being in front of your customers and your hostesses, whether it be at shows, whether it be on the phone, whether it be on Facebook, know that you may lose business if you are not handling yourself in a professional and appropriate way. Uh, and I would hate to see anybody out there lose anything because of that. Um, absolutely. We're ambassadors, not just for Premier, but for Jesus. He is just using Premier. Absolutely. Uh, how would you handle a situation where a host, I didn't read it in time. How would you handle a situation where a host is what, honey? I didn't, I missed it. I had a couple comments come through at the same time and didn't get a chance to read it all. Where hostesses and guests are bashing other ladies. Um, just do not, it will, here's the thing. You can't tell other people what to talk about, but don't get involved in it. Don't, don't, um, don't feed into it. Don't like try to change the subject, you know, like anything, like move won't be like, Oh, ladies, I got to show you this awesome combination over here. You know, let's come take a look at this or whatever. But, I mean, obviously you can't tell people at the shows what to talk about, but do not feed into it. Don't stand there and listen to it. Don't don't nod your head because here's the thing. If you nod your head to them, that is you agreeing. Unfortunately, that, I mean, most people nod their head just to say, I'm listening. But to them, that is you saying, oh, yeah, I get it. I get it. So, yes, yeah, so walk away. Go start putting your jewelry away or, you know, picking up um, the the items that you no longer are using, you know, so like any folders that were left over that you can start putting away, that kind of thing. Um, but absolutely, don't feed into it. Don't don't get involved in any of the gossip. Don't um, just don't even do that. Don't even feed into it. Because here's the thing, that person that they may have been talking about, who knows, she might be your next hostess. She might be your next jeweler. Okay? You don't want to get involved with that. Do not get involved in that. Absolutely. So does anybody else, um, we have just a couple minutes here left because I try to keep these 30 minutes and under. And I'm sorry if the light is really, it's like reflecting off of my laptop. <laughs> Sunshine, yay! <laughs> um, but yes, it's kind of reflecting off of my laptop in a major way. Um... Had to hightail it out of a show once that descended into inappropriate texting. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else have any other um, tips or any other things that, that perhaps they had to deal with at times or um, any situations where you found that you no longer wanted to work with somebody because of uh, inappropriate or unprofessional behavior. Had ladies talk negative about Premier. Was that, you mean at a show? Or were these other, like other people outside? Or, oh, at a show? Okay, so was it that perhaps they, did they have a bad experience in the past? And that's why they were, oh, because, well, here's, here's the thing about that. I'm a firm believer that typically when people are um, put off by the fact that we are a Christian company, uh, the biggest thing is, is they, they automatically feel conviction in their own heart because of things that they're doing, um, or they fear that they're going to be judged uh, because of it. And so therefore, some, for some people, they can't, they can't handle that. Okay. Um, for some people, it's, it's that worry of, I'm not going to live up to their expectations. So therefore I'm going to just cut them out or I'm going to speak ill of them or whatever. Um, but here's the thing, the big, the best thing for us to do is just to continually love on them anyway and show them that regardless, 
we love them. Uh, you know, if they've had a bad experience in the past, we apologize for that, but we're here to serve them. Um, or if it's point blank because they're a biblical based company to just, there again, love on them and say, you know, if, if you're a non-believer, it's still a good thing that we are a biblical based company because that, what that means is that means that we are going to work with integrity with you. That means that we are going to care about you and we're going to love on you regardless of where you are. I mean, and, and that's, I mean, that's, that's what Premier is. Um, so absolutely. I talked with a party goer who was told by the jeweler that she had a credit card. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not, I'm not sure what that one was. I don't know if there was maybe an autocorrect or if there was some words missing and was expected to put a scale on the side. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know if I'm quite following. Could you type it all out for me again in, in one message? <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe it's because I only had like half a cup of coffee so far. <laughs> Let's see if that'll come through again. So you had, from what I gathered, you had a guest at a show who the jeweler was asking if she had a credit card. So meaning that the, the customer felt pushed into a sale. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Now, now well, here's here's the thing. Okay, so, so a, a guest felt as though she was being pushed into making a purchase. Um, here's the thing. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that that person is no longer a jeweler with Premier because that's, that's not okay. Okay. It's not, it's not okay in any, any business that you're in. Please do not ever make anybody feel pressured to purchase anything. I don't care if you're in Premier. I don't care if you're with, um, Unique, if you're with Mary Kay, if you're with Avon, if you're with, please do not ever, ever make anybody feel pressured to make a purchase. Okay. Because here's the thing. Um, as an example, there's a reason why people don't like car shopping, okay? Because especially used car shopping, because they they know that immediately it's you know, and there's that stigma of that used car salesman who's going to just push you into anything just to just to get his paycheck and and push you out the door, okay? Um, and that. Yeah, no, no, that's never okay. If if you ever have a customer say, I can't afford it right now, please do not ever say, well, don't you have a credit card? No, don't, <laughs> don't ever say that. If a customer is choosing to not purchase, do not make her feel bad. Do not make her have buyer's remorse by just giving in and purchasing something to make you happy. That no, and absolutely yes. If they if they cannot afford to get a piece, but there's pieces that they love, then you should have been offering. You know, they are not you, but the jeweler should have been offering uh, to do a show. Um, and it, here's the thing: that jeweler would not have been serving the premier way. Period. There's no other way to put that um, other than perhaps she was taught the incorrect way whether it be through an upline that perhaps didn't have the premier way attitude or perhaps she came from a different direct sales uh, group and just thought that that's the way that things were supposed to be done. Perhaps that's just who she is. I don't know. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. You never know somebody's home situation. Um, so no, 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 you don't, you don't ever, ever, push a sale. And here's the thing. I, I know so many people don't, they don't necessarily believe me when I say that even though I'm involved in direct sales, that I, I'm not there to sell. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, but that's, that's not my goal. My goal at every single show, um, is to serve first and foremost. It's, it's to serve those customers, yes, it's it's a direct service business when you're with Premier. It's 
It's not about sales. And yeah, God may have placed them there for a very different reason. Um, I once did a training on that, actually at Haven of Hope, um, where, you know, I was reminding everybody that, that we need to remember uh, that anytime we are dealing with customers, it is always worth our time. It, it has, it, there should be no bearing on, you know, well, that show was was not really worth my time because I didn't make enough money. Well, then guess what? You went there with the wrong attitude to begin with. Because if that's what your focus is, no. Okay, no. <laughs> that that's not that's not good. It's not okay. Your focus should have been to be there to spend time with that hostess, to love on that hostess, to serve her, to serve her guests, to make every single person there feel worthy and loved. And that's it. That that should be your goal. And if that is not your goal, then you're you're going in with the wrong attitude. And until you change that attitude, the Lord is not going to bless you financially. If he can't know that he can trust you to take care of people that he's put in your path for a reason. And chances are he's put those people in your path for a reason more than just to pay your electric bill. So we, we really need to make sure that we, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting all wound up about that. <laughs> but we need to make sure that we are keeping the proper focus. And there again, whether you are here as a premier design jeweler or whether you are here with, you know, and you work with a different direct sales company, that goes across the board. Please make sure that when you are going into your shows and into any event, that you are going there to serve mm. other people. Because if you're not there, to serve other people, then you're just, you're in the wrong business. Chances are because it, it's not, it, you're not going to get very far if your only concern is sales and you're not going to, you're not going to have repeat customers. You're not going to have repeat hostesses and things like that. If you're not taking great care of those people and you will find that you will constantly have to be chasing new contacts. You'll be having to find new people to work with all the time because people will get tired of working with someone who's pushy who's aggressive, who's inappropriate, who's not professional, and things like that. So mind your P's and Q's. Make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing to serve them, serve them well, serve them with integrity, and serve them by being a professional um, and, and caring about them. Point blank. Point blank. Okay. I, <laughs> I'm off my high horse about that. <laughs> Off my little soapbox. So yes, I know, I know. Uh, Meta jeweler whose downline is not sisterly because because she's not selling. Okay, so I'm taking that to mean that. Okay, so basically they're not loving on someone because she's not selling anything. Is that what you, what you mean by that? That's horrible. <laughs> That is downright horrible. Like I have, I have no other words. It, it's horrible. That now listen. I have people in my downline um, who have been in my downline for. I, I have one. Okay, one in specific. I have one girl um, who's been in my downline for three or four years. Uh, she literally did her training show when she first came in and that's that's all she's done but guess what I invite her to every single training I still contact her I check in with her see how she's doing comment on her Facebook stuff like I mean it because here's the thing it it's not about what she does because she might be getting far more out of this um, I, and I'm hoping she's getting something out of it since she keeps renewing every year <laughs> um, but it's, you know, for some people, they're not in it for the money. And it's not up to us to say, well, you should be selling a certain amount or you should be doing a certain number of shows because guess what? That might not be, that might not be why they came in. They may have come in because they wanted the relationships. They may have come in because they need some spiritual growth. They may have come in because they just want to know that they're loved and that they're worthy. They may have come in because of tax benefits. Like we, I mean, truly, we have no idea. Um, yes, exactly. Okay. 
So, so here's the thing. We have no idea what people are doing, what people are going through, what, like, whatever, like, stop putting expectations on people and just love on them. That's it. Just love on them. Jazzy, I will be praying for your mama. Exactly. Yep. We never know. We never know um, what people are going through, why they're in premiere, what they need. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, and it, and there again, uh, still on camera for like, God love her. We'll be praying. Jazzy, tell me, tell me your name again, along with your mama's name. Kelly Hickman. Bonnie Duff. Okay. I will be praying. I will be praying. Praying that the Lord heals her and gives her some relief. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cancer is not a um, a fun thing for anybody. You're very welcome. Um. So yeah, so so my biggest thing is there again, whether you are a premier design jeweler, whether you are a direct sales, um, there is no amount of training, of skill, of experience that will top you loving on your customers and your hostesses and making them feel special and loved. There just isn't. Um, in my opinion, you truly caring about them and you truly taking the time to love on them and serve them the best of your ability, that is is going to far outweigh anything else. Yes. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, Kelly. Those Those sales will come. They will come. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And that's and, and having that sisterhood and, and the prayers and everything else, that is going to um that's gonna do good for your soul. It's gonna do very good for your soul. And when your soul is well, then it everything else can fall into place a little bit easier. Absolutely. All right, ladies. Well, I do not want to hold you up any longer. I'm going to let you scooch. I feel like I'm being blinded here. Um, <laughs> but I am going to let everyone uh, scooch for the day. And I will look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. Tomorrow is our Truth Be Told. So if you would like to just ask me um, some different random questions, uh, whether it be how I would handle certain situations, whether it be um, how I feel about my job as a jewelry lady, whatever your questions are, uh, then you can feel free. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, then that way we can catch up tomorrow and you can ask all sorts of questions. Uh, and I will just be looking forward to that time. So uh, make sure that you think of some of those questions. And then that way we can touch on those tomorrow. Uh, and I may even ask you all a couple of questions. Just like, so, all right. Well, you guys just have a very blessed day. Many prayers and blessings into your business and into your life. Look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. You have a great day. Thanks so much for joining us.